Hello and welcome to this noon renewal service brought to you by St. Matthew's Anglican Church in Etobicoke, Toronto for Friday, November 27th. This is our time to come together to pray for God's life-giving spirit to renew ourselves, our church, and our world. My name is Jeff Bonner. I'm the Family Ministry Associate at St. Matthew's. I'm also a life-professed Anglican Franciscan with the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. So, as has been our usual custom, today will be a Franciscan Friday, drawing on prayers and imagery from that tradition. Remember that even in these times, we are not alone. Our prayers do continue to blend together as sweet-smelling incense in the presence of God. And we continue to be the Church through the Holy Spirit, whether we are together physically or not. Feel free to join in any of the prayers or singing as you wish. I will read both the leader and all parts. Please join in for the all as you're able, either silently or out loud. I also invite you to light a candle as a symbol of prayer to help you devote this time to God. If you don't have one handy, just pause the video and get one and restart when you're ready. And it is common in many spiritual traditions and has been our custom here to take a moment at the start of prayer to pause and consider what it is you desire from God for today. Are you feeling tired or stressed? Then perhaps you desire peace above all else. Or are you burdened and tempted to despair? Then perhaps a special grace of faith is desired. Or maybe you just want to spend this time praising God and thanking him for the goodness in your life. Whatever it is, take a moment now to express your desire to God for today. <coughs> and I invite you now to join me in prayer and worship both here and in all your church throughout the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our hymn for today is the Servant Song. The lyrics will be on the screen if you want to sing along or else just sit quietly and let the song speak to your heart. Let me 
be your servant. Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant. Carrying forward our psalm today is Psalm 84, which we will read responsibly by the full verse. Feel free to join in on the even verses which are in bold. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts! My soul has a desire and longing for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. By the side of your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Happy are the people whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Those who go through the desolate valley will find it a, a place of springs, for the early rains have covered it with pools of water. They will climb from height to height, and the God of gods will reveal himself in Zion. Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Hearken, O God of Jacob. Behold our defender, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. For one day in your courts is better than a thousand in my own room, and to stand at the threshold of the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is both sun and shield. He will give grace and glory. No good thing will the Lord withhold from those who walk with integrity. O Lord of hosts, happy are they who put their trust in you. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. As we prepare now to hear the gospel of Christ, I invite you to take a few moments to prepare your heart to hear God's word. Ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you through the word. Pay attention when certain words or phrases or images stick with you. And be open to finding yourself in the story. Today's Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke in chapter 21, verses 29 to 33. Then he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we do every week, I invite you now to take a few moments to reflect on the Gospel passage we've heard today either something that has stuck out to you or else these points to ponder that I have prepared. As in many of his parables, Jesus uses the natural world to illustrate a point about faith. Just as we know the season by the leaves of the trees, we can also recognize the kingdom rule of God by what we see around us. How do we know when we are living within God's plans for us? And Jesus affirms the everlasting word of God by saying that he even heaven and earth will pass away, but his words will never pass away. How does this make you feel? 
Do you find comfort in the eternal nature of Jesus' teaching? Pause the video, take as much time as you want to reflect upon the gospel passage, and when you're ready, just press play and go forward. And now let us respond to the word of God, affirming the faith of our baptism with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And let us now turn to God with prayers of intercession for ourselves and the world around us. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for a day of fulfillment and peace. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to teach us to love others as he has loved us. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for peace and justice in the world. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen and relieve those who are in need. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to renew the church through the power of his life-giving spirit. Lord, have mercy. And let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. Lord, have mercy. Remembering all the saints, we commit ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God, to you, O oh Lord. And we'll take a quiet moment now to add our own prayers and petitions to God, lifting the names of those we wish God's love and mercy for, either silently or out loud. And all this we pray to God, Lord, have mercy. And this, all with all this, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. And as we often do, I invite you to pray with me the prayer known as the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Today's collect is the BAS Collect for Fridays. Almighty God and Father, 
your beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption. Give us the courage to take up our cross and follow him in newness of life and hope. He lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And finally, let us pray as our Lord himself taught us. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Most high, glorious God, bring light to the darkness of our hearts. Give us right faith, certain hope, and perfect charity. Lord, give us insight and wisdom so we might always discern your holy and true will. Amen. This ends our formal time of prayer together. I hope you've found it meaningful and spiritually filling. If you do find these services helpful and you haven't already, click subscribe on our YouTube channel. If you'd like an email reminder about these services, uh, contact our church office at the email address there on the screen. And if you have any questions of faith or we desire prayer or just more information on our church, please visit our website at www.sinkmats.ca. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you safe. And may you have an especially blessed beginning to the season of Advent this Sunday.